he was just, you know, he's just such a great guy, so easy to talk to. I mean, I, I heard stories that uh, his wife had to turn people away because he would, people would knock on his door and he would invite them in and they would just talk baseball for hours. So I just liked that about him. He's just such a nice, you know, easygoing guy and loved the fans and loved Philadelphia. So um, I'm going to miss that, but, um, you know, it's a new day for the Phillies. See what they can do. Maybe, you know, turn it around. I mean, Philadelphia sports right now is tough. It's tough. All four sports is tough. Uh, it, it was bound to happen. Uh, you could see the team was struggling, things weren't going right, and it was only a matter of time before Charlie would do that. I'm very saddened by it because I love Charlie. I love the way he talks. I just think he's, the players love him, and I think it's going to be a shame, and I don't know if they'll play as hard for somebody else, and I don't think this season is his fault. I think he sounds a, so down to earth, and I just love the way he talks when he's like, hey, I'll tell you what, you know, and um, that he's such a hitter's manager, and I just, I don't know, he just seems like very grassroots to me and very big-hearted, and he seems to really love the players, and I think they love him back. I liked him in the beginning. I thought it was a lot easier when he had people who could hit. And since he didn't get to make a lot of decisions personnel-wise over the last two years, and the contracts and such, um, they didn't play to the strengths of what he was doing when he was doing well. So, five division titles, uh, two NL pennants, a World Series championship. I, I thought he deserved to at least finish out the season. Maybe not after this season, go on, but he should have finished the season. In the future, I, I hope they get back to uh, winning championships.